Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, today uh, we'll discuss about the Levio tutorial and we'll talk about uh, uh, shift register. Yeah, I understand that last week that I mentioned that uh, we'll talk about the FGV or functional global variable today. But after I review again the topic. It's like we need to learn about the shift register first before we talk about this uh, FGV. And now today I'm trying to use English because yeah, sometimes I want to improve my English skill also. So if you heard that I uh, saying a wrong pronunciation, a wrong uh, grammar, so just yeah, you can just give me an input and. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's part of my learning phase. Yeah, I just want to improve this. Okay, uh, we talk about the shift register. Basically, in Levio, a shift register is used to uh, to store data during looping. So it can be used for while loop, for loops, or whatever loops that we have on the Levio. So the shift register lets you to access the data and return the value from the previous iteration. So you can use this shift register for three functions. The first one is to store or update the data and then to perform calculations from the shift register data. And the third is to take an action based on the data in the shift register. So yeah, maybe it's a little bit hard for you to understand. And okay, we will try it directly in the lab view. Let's open the lab view. Okay, I had opened my view and then just create a new VI. Okay, now here I have one VI. So yeah, let's just split it. Okay, I have a one VI and this is the front panel and this is a block diagram. So uh, how to make a shift register on the view? The first thing that you need to have is a loop because yeah, as I mentioned before that uh, this shift register is uh, used to transfer the data uh, through the loops. Okay, so we just try to make a, a while loop here, and don't forget to put a, a stop button here. Okay, drag this, make it bigger, and don't forget to put a timing here. Okay, as usual, then just put a maybe 10 millisecond okay then how to make a shift register okay you can click you can do a right click on the while loop frame okay then just re add shift register so this is the icon of this shift register so you can see this is uh this is the icon of the shift register and now it, it has a, a gray or it's something like a yellow maybe the color so you can put a data here you can put whatever a type of data here let's say i put a maybe a number we'll try to simulate it i put a numeric constant here boom and you can see that my shift register icon the color will be changed uh, into into blue so it will follow the 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 data type that you wired to the shift register so let's say i i wired i put a wire string here and it will be ping and i i put a the, the the double numeric here and it will be orange and it's some and it will be something like that okay so we'll, we'll, we'll try we'll try to to put a maybe numeric constant here numeric constant here okay so on the left side uh, on this stage this is we called as the initial of initial value of the shift register you can put like an initial value that when you run your loop this uh it will be initialized 
initialize your uh, shift register okay let's say here I have a data okay I have a data let's say uh, two two and I will wire it uh, through the shift through the shift register create a indicator okay create an indicator then uh, okay I will run my my code here so as you can see uh, the indicator will be shown to right so you can see it will uh, it will uh, show to then I stop it I stop it then I will put the operator here let's say uh, plus two maybe maybe we can just put a, a plus three yeah plus three put it here and put it here so what is mean what is the program means so it's something like at the first time you execute this code the initial value of this will be two right and then we will add it with three okay two plus three it will be five here right it will be five here and your data will be looped and it will be in into here okay it will be in here and it will be run through here and it will become output of this input okay so this da the data that will uh, goes to here later it will become your previous data okay so uh, let's add uh, one more uh, indicator here let's say we give a name of this like uh, after after uh after what after plus and this one uh, uh before just put a before and after yeah, i think it's better to understand so just put it before and after and yeah we'll run this program and let's take a look of the data that will be executed here uh, let's make it bigger okay okay so this is before and after i just added timing so we can see the the the, the differences just put a 1.5 second here okay two five five eight eight eleven eleven fourteen fourteen seventeen seventeen twenty 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 true that's it yeah that's the function of the shift register it will store the output of this uh, operator will become an input here as simple as that right the, the 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 logic of the shift register it's something like you can store or you can use the the, the data from the previous iteration to become so you can process the data to the current uh, iteration it it's just something like that it's just something like that okay and the other function of the shift register and it's something like uh you can you can you can remove this this value you can remove this value and if you remove this value it means that you will uh, not initialize your uh, first data here okay uh, for example you know that on this before sorry the last value here it should be 35 right because the data after is 35 this one will be 35 it will loop here and this one will be 35 okay so when I do execute this program the data before will become 35 okay let's see Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's uh, repeat it again. I do a stop. Okay, and I repeat it again. See? See? 
your data will be still safe the last value on your shift register will be still here if you remove the initial value of your shift register okay let's say this one is uh 51 and this one is 54 and when i start my program then it the before will be uh 54 and yeah the after will be at three let's see see it's something like this so the shift uh sorry the the the, the right side here uh if you put a value here it will reset your uh shift register data every time you run your code let's say here i i don't put i don't put an initial value here i never put an initial value here then when i start my code it will start from the last value of it okay then when i put some value here let's say i put uh, some constant here like eight maybe so your data will be start from eight so that's one of the rules of the shift register that you need to know yeah, because uh sometimes when you write a code then you forget and you need you need that when you execute your code every time you execute the code you want the value will be reset then just don't forget to put a to put a value on your initial of the shift register okay if let's say you want to keep the last value uh the remind value of your code so just delete it and leave it blank okay just leave it blank you can just make code or 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 you can just uh connect something to this uh site let's say i remove it right your code will be error you can just put some value here also as an input all right and then yeah the shift register also you can something like add to below it will save your uh previous record of the data let's simulate it okay this is my current data just put some indicator here okay just put it here and put another value here just put a value here and the other value here yeah we want to see what is the data that show from this okay so before after and this is a numeric numeric and this is numeric two and this is numeric three uh, three and this is numeric four okay maybe just run the code see see what you can see from this code okay yeah i know i know you you see that your 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 program will save your previous data if let's say i have one two three four five so you can keep your five previous data and show it so it will make you uh easy to track or to traceability or to trace to trace your data something like that so that's one of the function of the shift register okay and you know that this shift register is very useful so if let's say you want to to learn something you you want to make a code with a maybe a a learning uh method so you will need this uh this shift register then i believe the shift register will be always used on the level let's say later we'll talk about the fgv so fgv will need this uh shift register because why because we want to save a data between a loop so this fgv will need a shift register 
and later when we learn about the we'll talk about the state machine the state machine will be used a uh, shift register as well okay all right so that's a shift register okay uh i think that's all yeah normally when i when the first time i learn about this uh shift register i'm trying to make uh you know to make a uh, blinking uh, blinking program using the shift register something like that. it's just very easy then i can just put a maybe 500 millisecond here make it bigger right so this is your code why we can make a blinking code here because yeah you know on this iteration the value is false then you convert it to true then this value will become true here and this one after that you convert it to false and then it true false true false true false and always like that maybe you can see from here yeah I, I, we try to prove we try to prove the wire so number one true false true false and yeah that's all yeah that's all from for the shift register it's very easy okay so uh i think that's all our material for uh today so if you have a question about the shift register just just write it on the comment i will i will try to to reply it okay if you like this video don't forget to click like and if you don't like just click on dislike if you think that you have a friend that want to learn live you maybe you can share this video okay don't forget to subscribe see you on the next video next week we'll talk about the fgv bye bye assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh